Hey guys, Blood Groove here. I just wanted to do a review of the Jerry Moan Mongoose Flipper I showed y'all the other day. Jerry Moan is out of Dallas, a custom knife maker out of Dallas. You may not have heard of him, but you've probably heard of Jim Skelton of Skelton Blade Works. Um, Jim worked out of Jerry's shop for a while, and I believe I was actually mentored by him. So the Mongoose here, as you can see, it's got a, got a damn steel blade and it's gold titanium handle. The overall length of it is eight inches. The blade length is three and a half. And the handle length is four and a half inches. It's got a published weight of 3.8 ounces. Uh, again, the blade is Damasteel. It's RWL 34. It has a drop point recurve. Uh, at least that's what they published it as. It looks like, it, to me, it looks like a harpoon, but you definitely see the recurve here, which I really like. It's a really attractive blade. The handle is um, it's milled honeycomb and gold anodized with a matching backspacer. And you've got uh, jimping on the backspacer here, as well as jimping towards the front. Has titanium hardware. See the pivot there and the screws with Torx fittings, Torx heads. The pocket clip is titanium and it has a ceramic bearing. The pocket clip was actually pretty sharp on the edges here. They didn't chamfer that down. The first day I carried it, I actually cut myself, uh, just put my hand in my pocket. Has a titanium liner. And... Uh, Let's see. And the pivot rides on bearings. I don't know if they're ceramic bearings or not, but it does say it's bearings. So let's go ahead and check the... Wow. Never realized this before, but look at that lineup. That is not centered at all. Now, I've been carrying this for, oh, probably 10 months, maybe 11 months. Everyday carry for, for uh, five days a week. So uh, uh, I really don't really use it, so I, ca I can't really say it's been because of wear and tear uh, or just, you know, from so much motion, but uh, definitely does need to be adjusted there. Is that riding on the edge? It is. Let's see. No. Just barely missing. And it has a lockup of, what is that, maybe 20% if we're lucky. So this is a really great blade. I really like it. A uh, really nice, attractive nice knife. It's very appealing. Uh, it's nice and shiny here because of the light, but uh, when it's not bright outside or you're under light, it is actually kind of dull. Um... One of the things about having a custom knife is just because it's custom doesn't mean it's going to be perfect, as you saw with the blade centering. In this particular case, the quality of the etching could have been better. If you see here, right there, you see that where the etching is just kind of either worn or just not etched deep enough? You got it right there, 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 a little there. And I don't think that's from where right there. I know some of this was here beforehand when I first got the blade, so I know it's I know it's definitely there. You got like a little spot right there and right up there as well. So this isn't, you know, it's it's not perfect. Now I I, I guess I could have sent it to Jerry uh to have him re-etch it, but uh again it was gonna be everyday carry and get all scratched up like I mentioned the the other day, and as you can see all the scratches here. I really wasn't going to concern myself with it. Got plenty of scratches. In that time, you can also, it also uh, wore some of the anodizing. Let me shut this here. And you can see right here where, where the bolsters would be at the ends. It's already kind of wearing down from wear on both sides. And. I don't know if you can see it, tell or not there, but it's definitely lightened up. Hmm, bit of dirt in there. I cleaned it before showing it to y'all, but I didn't get in the lanyard hole. Sorry. 
So it's definitely got some scratches there too. Let's see if we get a better close up there. Mm. There we go. So anyway, so so as you can see that you know there is going to be wear and tear on it, especially if you everyday carry it. And if that's going to bother you, well, then just leave it home. But if not, if you, you know, you want to enjoy it every as much as you can during the day rather than just leaving it home, then then go ahead and carry it. Um, this is, It's a really nice knife. I, I really like it. As I said last time, it brings a smile to my face every time I uh, every time I open it or take it out of my pocket. Uh, there's another Jerry Moen Mongoose that I want to get, uh, even despite the the very minor quality issues with this one. Uh, in fact, I almost purchased it, uh, I guess it's been about a month now. Uh, I was at the knife store and uh, there was, a, I, I saw one pretty much exactly like this, the same same flipper like this. It had a, had the uh, damascus steel blade uh, but and the titanium handle, but the handle was black and it was DLC coated for everything. And the difference on that handle, rather than being a honeycomb uh, milling, it was milled into a snakeskin pattern, and I haven't seen that before. Unfortunately, because of these these blemishes here, uh, when I was looking at the picture on the on the website, there was some what appeared to be blemishes on the on the uh, on the handle, uh, but it wasn't very clear. The picture was really horrible, and so I called up the uh, I called up the retailer and asked them about it. And they'd say, they said they'd get back to me in 24 hours. Well, in that time period, unfortunately, somebody else already bought it. And when I called back, they said some guy from Australia had bought it. And that was that. So I haven't seen one like it again. I'm going to have to keep searching. Uh, I may try to contact Jerry at some point once I can save up for it and see if he can uh, make one for me. Uh, there's currently one available just like it, but in rose, rose gold. And, and that's just not really going to work for me. <laughs> Uh, another thing is, you know, some people might think, and when I look back on it afterwards, you know, again, it's it's really nice. I find it really appealing. But if I had not gone with Dana Steel, I might have saved 20%, 20 to 30%. So, you know, that's something else to look at. And it might just, in some people's eyes, be a little too busy. What, I, what I'm finding now when I'm looking at blades is that I want more contrast rather than busy and busy. Uh, this isn't so much busy itself. It's just the color is busy. So, you know, there's there's things you learn about. This was only my first knife after that gift knife from my brother. So, so I'm learning from it. Uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed seeing it again uh, and learning a little bit more about it. And uh, thank you for watching. Have a good night.